Hello, hello. Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a mini Amazon haul. Again, another Amazon haul, but it's small at least. These are the items that I got on Prime Day for Amazon. It's just taken me way too long to film this, but I'm finally doing it. I just have a couple things, some heat tools and some products. So I'm going to jump right into it. I think I'm going to start with the products. So this is the box. A nice big box I have everything in. The first thing I got was another Matrix Mega Sleep Conditioner because I really did enjoy when I used this before straightening my hair. This is nice. I think this is something I will continue to repurchase from Amazon. It's a lovely conditioner. Uh, check out that video if you want to see more thoughts on that. I got finally some bond repair items. I got a Mark Anthony Repair Bond Daily Care Conditioner. Uh, this one's for all hair types. And then as well, I finally was able to purchase the L'Oreal Paris Ever Pure Sulfate Free Bond Strengthening Conditioner. To be honest, I'm, I'm not too picky when it comes to shampoos. Like I have a shampoo that I absolutely love. I'm more strategic when it comes to conditioners and I wanted to finally purchase a bond repair one, see what all the hype is about, the smell, and if it does make a difference. So I got two, I cannot wait to try these. I hope I can get at least two applications out of each bottle. And I got, repurchased another bottle of Head & Shoulders shampoo because I was out, I love Head and shoulders, especially after doing a extended protective style, because my scalp is a little bit more irritated. This one is the tea tree oil one. I don't apply this to all of my hair. Um, I apply it only to the scalp. Uh, let it sit and soak for like five, ten minutes. Really massage and work it in with a little bit of water to dilute it because it is so thick. And then I rinse, and then I follow up with my regular shampoo. And this helps calm any itch, any dandruff, and helps to keep it away for like a month. And I use this maybe once a month, every month and a half. So this is necessary for my arsenal. And I picked up another bottle of Pantene conditioner because I just love conditioners. You can never have too many conditioners. I like to do regular conditioners like this when I know I'm running low on time for wash days and I'm not going to do a intensive deep conditioning treatment, 20 to 25 minutes, I'll use a more basic conditioner like this. And I was watching a video from a hairstylist. I will link his name somewhere here on the screen. He suggested witch hazel. Uh, when you're having that irritation to your scalp when your hair is in braids or a protective style, and I was like, hmm, this makes sense. I'm not sure if you're supposed to dilute it, um, I've never used Fair's Witch Hazel before. This is the double pack. This is alcohol-free Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula, uh, the rose petal one. It's 355 mils. I think it's like two for 30 something dollars. Um, and then just apply this to this scalp when your hair is in braids and it's supposed to help with irritation as well. So I am excited to use this on my scalp when my hair is in a protective style and see if it ruins the style, if it has a nice calming, cooling effect. It is supposed to balance the pH of your skin. It's good for the skin, it's good for the scalp. So I'm excited to use this. I so weirdly found conditioner for the Cake brand. Finally, I wish I had this when I was doing the wash and go that I did not too long ago using the Cake products. This is their Beach Wave Conditioner, super hydrating, wave enhancing, body boosting. I picked up two of these. This will last for probably two uses, maybe three. But now I have these. Can't wait to try these out. And I wanted to also try out some new heat protectants. I picked up one that I've used maybe 10, 15 years ago, which is the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protectant Spray. I personally prefer the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Shampoo to probably all other shampoos. It just works really well. The formula is great. I love to use it 
when regardless of whatever style I'm going to do it's just a great shampoo so I have high hopes for the heat protectant spray and then I got the matrix iron smooth smoother defrizzing leave-in spray so another heat protectant spray of the matrix brand so the plan is to use the shampoo use the conditioner and then follow up with the heat protectant spray and then straighten my hair and see how well all three products go together. I wish there was like an in-between in product to go with this, um, kind of like a leave-in moisturizer, similar in formula to the Cantu Daily Oil Moisturizer. Like I want a product that I can apply to the hair before blow drying along with this and then blow dry and straighten and it leaves the hair smooth and sleek and moisturized and shiny without weighed down. I don't know, there needs to be a second product in the line. I'll stay on the hunt for it, but I got this. Super excited to use those products. And finally, the styling tools that I got. I wanted to get a, another blow dryer. You guys have seen me use the same blow dryer, the blue one, in all my videos. It's the only blow dryer that I currently have. I have tried one other one, the Not Doctor. Absolutely useless returned it. It just does not work for my type of hair and how I prefer to blow dry my hair. But I wanted to get another one that was affordable and still had all the characteristics and traits of my regular blow dryer. So I got this Fazin, Fazin, F-A-S-Z-I-N Strom S200 hair dryer, fast drying with no heat damage with Air Jets technology. This I have tried. I'm not going to take it out of the boss box. I am going to do a video where I do a demo first impressions and then another video where I compare this to the dryer that I already have, but it's great. Um, similar in design to the dryer that I already have and comes with lots of extra attachments, which is golden. So I got this hair dryer. Still hoping and praying to one day get the rub air. I don't know, Christmas time, fingers crossed. Maybe Santa will come early. And then the last item I got for Amazon Prime Day was a Tymo hair straightener. The Tymo Ring Hair Straightening Comb. I have been dying to purchase any Tymo product. And this is the one I decided to get. Obviously I got pink because I love pink. Plastic is still on it, so I have not used it yet, and I cannot wait to use it. Leave a comment down below if you have used the Tymo or this phase in hair dryer. What was your thoughts, suggestions? Did you hate anything? Or if you've used any of the products that you have seen in this video. That's it for now. I wanted to keep it sweet and short. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed because you know you want to see more. And I will see you in the next video, which will hopefully be a demo of the blow dryer. Peace out.